Today is the day that uh, Mozilla Org deliberately expired a bunch of things when they could have just left a file up or whatever. Anyway, how to get around this? From going from a red, your um, your plugins could not be verified for use in Firefox and have been disabled to it can't be verified, proceed with caution. We take advantage of the fact that if you have ESR versions or maybe just a random version of Firefox, all you have to do is go into about colon config, say, okay, I will do this and you know, I will accept the responsibility. And then you click <clears throat> um, show all and then type in X-P-I-N-S-T-A-L-L dot. And that'll bring up install signatures dev info URL, install signatures dot required, and install uh, whitelist required. You can set both of those two faults and you go to a yellow caution. It'll keep running them and it may even let you install expired ones. I doubt that it'll allow an, ex an expired one to be installed, but this will at least keep you limping along. And again, you'll have to update to a, a higher version like um, Firefox 128 or something like that, whatever it is this week, or whatever you want to do. But this allows you to keep going, even though it does this rather suddenly. It did it to me at almost exactly 6 p.m. West Coast time. So, uh, yeah. And, uh, yeah, that's the way of getting around it, and I'll see how long this lasts. Up next, I'll do a video on how to turn off all the telemetry so it can't uh, keep communicating back with Mozilla.org and whoever they're affiliating with. Also, if you know anything about grabbing the xpinstall.signatures.devinfo URL and altering it, Maybe this would be a way to get around it. I doubt it. The company seems pretty definitive about wanting to destroy the ability to use older copies of the browser. Now, the reason I'm calling this out has nothing to do with security certificates and technical details and yeah buts and actuallys you're going to put in the comment section. It has to do with the fact that this has the effect of them destroying an older version of their product, so you have to download a newer one. And I've never heard of a corporation not using that as something to exploit. I know that they're not exploiting. Couldn't possibly be. But I really don't believe what I'm saying to you. Obviously, I think they're being exploitive. And that is how I'm assuming a lot of you are taking this if you're watching this video. Anyway, that's the entire video. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Good luck with that. And uh, I'll leave the links below in the description for you. Bye.